But here's the wind turbine head reassembled. Um, I just arrived at my property the other day and I'm about to put up the uh, the wind turbine so I can make some power with it. I already got the solar panel out but I'm going to get the wind turbine up. Um, anyway I've just reassembled the head and now I've got to get the tower up and then uh, I can mate them and do the wiring and start harvest harvesting the wonderful wind power. A lot of people write and ask me how I balance the wind turbine out. And this may not be the best way to do it, but it's the way I did it one day when it was way out of balance and it's worked ever since. Um, I taped little washers to the uh, to the end of the uh, the lighter blades. Maybe it'd be smarter to drill holes in the heavier blades. I don't know, but I with a, with black electrical tape, I taped some little washers on there, and um, that seems to have balanced it out quite a bit. Um, it doesn't shake and rattle, so it's it's pretty well balanced. So that's the way I do it. You may want to do it a different way. Here I'm starting to assemble the tower for the wind turbine. Um, this year I decided to replace the ropes on it. My original plan was that the ropes were going to be temporary, the, the stays, and I was just going to um, use them to make sure it worked right and then replace them with steel cables. But those temporary ropes lasted for about four years before they were so rotted I decided I better replace them. So I decided to just put more rope on, new rope rather than uh, go to the expense and trouble of using steel cables. I mean, this stuff's a lot easier to work with. If it's going to last another four years, you know, why bother? Anyway, I've got to get this tower up and get it level. Well, plumb, I guess is the right word. Here you can see the base. Now, the whole tower and base unit stays out here all year long on my property. I only take the, uh, the head unit back home with me and can store it in my garage. Here you can see the the assembly down here and where the wire comes out the bottom down here out of this T and here's how I formed a hinge so that I can raise and lower the tower and this base unit is just a piece of plywood that's staked down and it's after four years it's still in amazingly good shape I mean don't get a lot of rain and snow out here so it uh, it's just hanging in there pretty well and then up here, here's where the ropes attach. This is basically just a, a piece of uh, electrical conduit with some fence hardware on it and some, um, some, uh, some clamps. Some pipe clamps. That's what those are. And then up here, the, the wire for the head comes out. Now, the one question I get most often from people is, how do you prevent the wire from twisting up inside the unit? And I don't do anything to prevent the wire from twisting up. I just, it just doesn't seem to happen. Um, the way the wind blows here, it almost always either blows out of the south or out of the west. So the wind turbine is always swinging back and forth between the south and the west through only a quarter of an arc. And it just doesn't seem to twist up the wire at all. And if it ever did twist it up, I guess I could just, you know, untwist it by hand. But I, this is just not a problem I've seen. So I haven't had to go to the trouble and expense of installing slip rings or anything like that. And uh, um, I think a lot of places probably you're going to see the same thing, where the wind mostly blows from a couple of different directions, and the, the wind turbine is just going to slew back and forth between those two directions. So you're probably not going to see a whole lot of, uh, of uh, wire twisting, just like I'm not. Well, your mileage may vary, though. Okay, there's the tower up with its new ropes. I use a torpedo level to make sure it's plumb and adjust the uh, tension in the in the guy lines there just to to get it as plumb as I can. It's probably not perfect using only a torpedo level, but it's it's good enough. And down here, here's a here's another view of how the base of the tower works. And you can see the the wire coming out through the the opening in the T right there. And a lot of people write me and they just don't quite understand how I've got this set up. Basically this is plumbing fixtures here and this up here is electrical conduit and the electrical conduit is just a slip fit over a pipe going up through it right here. And then I've got the hinge built down here and it's sitting on a base of plywood. And um, I would think from the pictures it would be easy enough to understand but maybe the video will help too. And then up at the top, I got the wire coming out. 
now that I have it plumbed up the way I want it, I can lower the tower down again and install the head and then raise it up and start making some power. Okay, what I've done here is uh, I lowered the tower down by releasing the far guy wire and then hinging the tower down at its base and sitting it on this little table. And this allows me to wire up the, the turbine head, attach the wires back there, and then I can just slide the, the turbine head into the end of the pipe here, the tower pipe, and it'll be ready to go. The, uh, the one inch water pipe, steel water pipe there, makes a really good slip fit inside the one and a quarter inch electrical conduit. And it makes a really nice smooth bearing that way. It spins inside it. It'll spin even nicer once I oil up the pipe a little bit and then slip it inside there. Then I, all I have to do is raise the tower back up again and uh, connect the make the electrical connections at the base of the tower and I'll be producing power. The wind's starting to come up so that's a good thing. I'll show you when it's done. Well there's the the wind turbine fully erected ready to go. All I gotta do is wait for the wind to get up a little more. It, it gusts every now and then but it's pretty calm right now. It's still morning though. The wind really gets up in the afternoons and evenings. That's when I'll see a lot of power coming out of it. Anyway I've got it wired in. The wire runs all the way down here to my charge controller over here where it's supplementing the power that uh, my solar panels producing over there they're both wired into the charge controller and right now I'm uh, charging this set of three gel cell batteries these are the batteries I use with my uh, recirculating sluice when I'm gold prospecting I really ran them down the other day out in the Bradshaw mountains so once they are fully um, recharged I'm gonna switch the charge controller over to the batteries in this um, bin down here. There are 14 more of these uh, same gel cell batteries all wired in parallel down here in this bin. And that's my main power source for powering all my toys and stuff out here when I'm out here on my property. Um, and I'm going to hook it up to, there's one of my uh, inverters right there. I've got a couple of inverters. And it should, between the solar panel and the uh, wind turbine, it should provide plenty of power for all my stuff. Just gotta wait for the wind to get up a little bit. It'll happen soon. Then I'll have plenty of juice. And the wind's finally got up and there it is up and running. Turning out the lovely watts of free electricity. I love it. <laughs>